Member South West Coast. Thank you, Speaker. And I rise to support the motion put forward by the uh, member for Ripon. It, we're supporting the motion and we're in opposing the motion. Absolutely, we are opposing the motion. The motion we oppose is that we do require a legislative process that gives us the respectful amount of time that has been accepted at the minimum to be 14 days for for a very long time. Now, this government over the last few years just continues to rush legislation through. So here we are today, just minutes ago, getting a bill about a very important subject of mental health. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We are all aware of the absolute front of mind challenge of people really struggling. Now, that's on the back of a Royal Commission that was six years in the making where people know already that the system is breaking. So we've had a long time to do some fixing, but we haven't seen this government act. They've waited for the Royal Commission report, and there were so many things that could have been done in the interim that they haven't done. Yet, here we are with a, with a, a bill on mental health and improving the system, and instead of using the process where we have the respect to be able to go out to our communities and give them the time they need to study the bill and give proper feedback so we can debate with respect to their views in this place, um, this government just says, no, let's ru rush it through. Now, OK, 13 days versus 14 days. Why is it that they continue to do this? It's because they can. The hubris nature of this government is extraordinary and it just keeps growing because what we see week after week is bills getting rushed through. Now, why couldn't you debate it on the Wednesday? I think what you're doing is completely uh, doing the overreach because you know you've got the numbers in the Assembly, you're not interested in consultation, you're not interested in listening to the debate points forward brought, together, brought forward by our communities. This is not me standing here. I am the voice of South West Coast. They will feed to me over the next two weeks and less in this instance the information that they would like me to bring forward that they're concerned about. They, if they get a chance to read it in that time, they will do that. It's just like the bill we're about to move to, the, um, the health um, systems platform improvements across hospitals. We've had six days. Now, this is mandating hospitals to um, introduce new information systems. The government is so arrogant now that when we went to the um, bill briefing about it and asked about costs, no, they couldn't answer that question. No costs available. Asked about business case. Haven't done one. You know, these are things that need the community need to have reassurance that this government can actually manage. Well, if you can't manage a legislative program, you're that disorganised that you can't even manage to put the normal two-week process in place, that you're rushing things through because you haven't even looked at the legislative program. It just says one thing. You're not interested in listening to your communities. You're not interested in the fair and reasonable processes that ensure our communities have the respect of being able to feed back to you the information that will affect them once these changes make place, take place and give them the, the opportunity to actually make changes and respectfully listen to that. 14 days is something that is all we've asked for and yet six days one week, 13 days the next week, it's a total disregard for the community, a community who have been struggling more than ever. And mental health is one of the really big challenges that must be coming into your office. It's coming into mine day after day. People writing to me, people ringing me, people begging me to help them get appointments to see specialists who have mental health um, um, capabilities. There's just not the skilled people. There's just not the um, re the 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 funding that's been available, and that's what this is about. This what not that we've had the chance to look at this bill, but that's what from what I understood when the minister um, introduced the overarching concept, which was to make sure we improve the mental health system. Well, why wouldn't you want to do that properly? Why wouldn't you want to give the respect to the community and listen to them? This is not about us standing up here uh, insulted by losing one day. This is us standing up here representing our communities and saying, show some respect and do things properly so that we have the opportunity to consult our communities. That's not that big of an ask.
It's not that big of an ask, but if you're so arrogant now that you think you don't even need this place and you're not interested in the process and you want to rush bills through that you don't even think that's necessary to consult with your community, if you want to introduce legislation and have no budgets for it even, then the, you'll fail. The question is that debate be adjourned for 